You are highly welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Welcome to LD Living with Deborah. Happy weekend to you. Happy weekend to you and to your family. Juliet Ambali, thank you so much for coming around. Thank you for coming around. Please don't forget to thumbs up as you come in. I was being the weekend. I was the day. I was your week. Thank you so much for coming around. So in the re in recent episodes, we've talked about cancer. We've talked about hypertension. We've talked about you know high cholesterol foods that can help to reduce your good cholesterol, reduce your bad cholesterol, and boost your good, good cholesterol. We've taken time to talk about, last week we talked about breast cancer, yeah. Last week we talked about breast cancer, and today we are going to be going to another topic entirely. So, you are welcome. Thank you for coming around. Please, if you are watching this for the very first time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also turn on that notification bell so that anytime I upload, you could get notified. You could get notified. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming around. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for always standing by me. Thank you for always standing by me. So it's summer right here in Italy everywhere you see. <laughs> everywhere is odd everywhere is odd okay thank you so much for coming around thank you once again so i talked about foods that every woman should be eating yeah i talk about foods every woman should be eating and i talk i think i mentioned about eight or nine so today i'm going to be continuing from where i stopped in my weekly uploads you know I upload weekly and I go live every Saturday. So in my weekly uploads, that was where I actually stopped. Food that every woman should be eating. Yes, every one of us should be healthy, whether man, woman, children, adult. But because women are peculiar, there are certain foods that women should be taking from time to time. Hey, thank you for coming around. Early yes matters. Happy weekend to you and to your family, man. Thank you for coming around. You are very, very much welcome. You're welcome. Hey, I'm fine. Thanks, Sister Juliet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? How is the family? Where do you live, Sister Juliet? Where do you live? Hey, we have marvelous in the building. <laughs> Marvelous TV, thank you for coming around and congratulations on your 1,000 subscribers milestone. Congratulations, Marvelous TV. <laughs> Very soon now we will see advertisements you know, running in your channel. Congratulations, Marvelous. Okay, okay, Juliet Ambali. Because I watched one of your videos, I saw the thumbnail. I saw one of my friends on, on your thumbnail, one of my friends in Lagos. I saw her on one of your videos. I think that video is about a year ago. So I was wondering, Ooh. hey, this person should be in Lagos. This person should be in Nigeria, yes. I saw my friend on your thumbnail, Deborah Famo Wagon. But she's married now. She's married to Boy Manuel Olu Jobi. So her name now is Deborah Olu Jobi. She's my namesake. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw her on one of your thumbnails, Juliet Ambali, and I was like, wow. So this person knows my Lagos connection, my Korodu people. <laughs> okay. So you're welcome, everyone. Let's begin the topic. Yes, Debra is my friend. Yeah, Debra is my friend. <laughs> we grew up together in the Kurodu. Hey, can you imagine? Marvelous TV. <laughs> Marvelous TV. <laughs> the last time I, I checked one of your live streams, yes, you were saying, ah, I've got it to 1,000, this and that. 
then she was my junior in secondary school. She's not a very oh wow, that's interesting. That was interesting. It's really a small world. We grew up together in the Korodu. So um Marvelous TV, the last uh, video I watched, your video, the last one I watched, I didn't see advertisement too. I think it was last week you uploaded it. Maybe it was a short one. You know, some of these short videos, you may not end up seeing any advertisement, whether at the beginning or at the end, but I'm so, so happy for you, Sister Marvelous. Congratulations. Hey, Ellie, <laughs> yes, Master is asking where in the Korodu. Anywhere you mention in the Korodu, I know the place. Just mention anywhere in the Korodu. <laughs> Anywhere you mention in the Korodu, I know the place. I grew up in the Korodu, so my parents live in the Korodu, so I'm in Korodu proper. <laughs> I'm in Korodu proper. Wow, that's interesting, marvelous. I will check the last two one I watched, but the last one I watched, I didn't really see. I didn't really see any advertisement. I will check up when I'm through, okay? I will check up when I'm through. Hey, Agbede. Yes, I know Agbede. Agbede has different varieties. So, eh? Agbede is plenty. Agbede Transformer. Agbede Olula. Agbede Olodola. Odoke Kere. Agbede is plenty. It's not too far from where I live. <laughs> no, I'm not an indigenous of Ikorodu, but I grew up in Ikorodu. My parents stay in Ikorodu. Yeah, my friends, I know a lot of family friends in Agbede. Yes, I have a lot of family friends in, in Agbede. That's interesting. It's a small world. <laughs> it's really a small world. It's really a small world. Okay, so the topic for today is super rich foods every woman should be eating. Yes, Italuo. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know Italuo. I know Italuo. I know Italuo very well. Then you should know Ishawo. If you know Agbede, you should know Ishawo. That is where my parents stay. They stay in Ishawo. Okay, so we talk about healthy foods every woman should be eating. And today we are going to continue from where we stop. I just hope the noise from the background is not disturbing at all. I also hope the noise from the background is not is not disturbing at all. Hey, that's interesting, Itauluwa. Okay, some people even call it Itauluwa. <laughs> some people call it Itauluwa. Okay, all right. So today, let's start with, you know, let's start from where I stopped. Let's start from where I stopped. Today is kind of a reunion. We are starting with a reunion today. <laughs> so we are starting today with, with, with the Korodu reunion. Hey, Juliet Ambali, don't just mind that girl. Don't mind that girl. Don't mind that girl. She always wants you to carry and carry and carry her. She always wants you to carry her. Don't mind that girl. <laughs> Thank you, Jare Mabelos. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's go straight to I. I'm going to be mentioning 15 today, yes. I'm going to be mentioning 15 foods today. And it's like I said, everyone needs to be healthy, whether husband, wife, children. But women are so peculiar, and that is why there are certain foods that are excellent for women. You know, someone was asking me, hey, healthy living, I saw that video. What about men? <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm going to shoot another one for men, but the one I shot was actually for women, and I would also like to shoot for for children too, for children too, okay. So today we are going to be rounding up for the women. I'm going to be rounding up for the women today. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for staying in the chat, and thank you so, so much for coming around. I know the place you mentioned. Oh, you know that place? <laughs> If you know that place, that is where my parents live. That is where my parents live. That I've always been seeing your face, actually. Elias Matter. This your face has always been familiar to me. Like seriously, this your face has always been familiar to me. But I keep wondering, where do I know this person from? Where do I know this person from? <laughs> your face has always been so familiar to me. Maybe one day I will remember. Maybe we've met in Lagos before. <laughs> 
Maybe we've met in Lagos before, any yes matters. Okay, so let's go to the topic of today. Super rich foods every woman should be eating part two. And my number one is fatty fish. Yes, fatty fish. Now, fatty fishes, they are good sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Of course, they contain unsaturated fats. And we know what unsaturated fat does for the body. When you eat food that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, unsaturated fats, they help to boost your good cholesterol why they also you know at the same time you know reduce your bad cholesterol they boost your good cholesterol and they reduce your bad cholesterol so that is what fatty fats that is what they they, they what's what unsaturated fats that is what they do for you that is what they do for you so that is it for fatty fish examples are your your sardine your mackerel albacore tuna salmon etc these are examples of fatty fish and like i said they contain ld fatty acids they contain ld fatty acids now sardines for example contains vitamin d and calcium and we know that these two combination is essential for strong bones and you know the older we become the more you should always you know keep your bones strong because your bone mass begins to reduce your bone minerals begin to reduce as you age and that is why you need more of vitamin d you need more of calcium and fatty fish are excellent sources of calcium and vitamin d now apart from the ld omega-3 fatty acids which can improve the quality of your breast milk can you hear that so sardines could actually help to improve the quality of breast milk they are also good for babies that their mother ate you no know, sardines while they were pregnant so sardines are good for for little babies that even their mother ate them while they were pregnant they also have low mercury which you know, makes them a better preference compared to other fish so sardine is very good for the body sardine is very good for the body okay oh you wow oh oh you all right so that's it for fatty fish so go for fatty fish i know they could be quite expensive yeah but it's something you should take from you know time to time just to give your body a good treat you want to boost your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol so that blood can be easily circulated throughout the body okay number two is flax seed number two is flax seed so we have the ground flax seeds and it contains fiber as well as lignans now lignans is a, is a kind of a compound that acts like estrogen and we know that estrogen is an hormone that is found in women anything that has to do with development growth in women puberty reproduction even breastfeeding estrogen is involved so ground flax seed contains fiber as well as lignans which is a plant compound that actually acts like estrogen at the same time they can help to lower the risk of some cancers including breast cancer did you hear that they could help to reduce the risk of developing breast cancer and apart from that flaxseed oil is also a great way to get omega-3 fatty acid once again and omega-3 fatty acid they are, they are healthy fats okay so however if you are on medication you should check with your doctor before adding your Flax seeds to your routine diet. Please, if you're on medication, check with your doctor before you add flax seeds to your routine diet because it can affect how well some medications work. So it can affect the functioning of certain medications. But if you are not on any medication, then flax seed is a good way to get omega-3 fatty acid okay so let's go to number three number three for today is avocados <laughs> avocados yeah did you see that coming avocados avocados are also full of good fats they are filled with good fats and studies shows that avocado rich diets can help you to get rid of belly fat so you want to get rid of belly fat avocado can help you with that yes I like flax seeds. Oh, that's interesting. So if you want to get rid of belly fat, avocado diet can help you with that. Most of the time we are always taking lemon, this, that. 
<laughs> lemon, orange, uh, pineapples. But a lot of people don't know that fat. avocados could also help to shed belly fat and also could help to protect your eyes and your skin. They may also help to lower the bad cholesterol in the body and boost the good cholesterol in the body. So avocado is more than, oh, let me just eat it. Is it a food or is it this? It is good for the eyes. It's good for the skin. It's good for the heart health. At the same time, it could also help to shed belly fat. You know, when you take avocado rich diet from time to time, it could help to shed belly fat. Okay. So number four is sweet potatoes. Sweet, 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 sweet potatoes. Number four is sweet potatoes. So they contain copper, fiber, vitamin B6, potassium, iron, and you know, sweet potatoes are the total package. You want to get fiber, you want to get copper, you want to get vitamin B6, you want to get iron. Iron is needed for the formation of blood in the body. Without blood, we cannot survive. So sweet potatoes is all encompassing. It is all encompassing, rich with minerals and nutrients. And at the same time, they are full of beta carotene. Ah, beta carotene is an A plus. When you hear A plus, it's an excellent source of vitamin A. <laughs> vitamin A, which gives clear vision. So you, you want your vision to be clearer, then sweet potatoes can also help with that. It, con it, it contains bitter carotene. It contains bitter carotene. Yes, yeah, sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes too. <laughs> yeah, someone is saying something. I love sweet potatoes. I'm even going to cook it right now. Wow, that's interesting. So, yeah, they are very good for the eyes. They contain bitter carotene, which is a rich source of vitamin A. Hey. <laughs> vitamin A. Okay, so during pregnancy and breastfeeding, it makes your baby's little lungs healthy and strong. Wow. So sweet potato is also good for mothers who are pregnant and for those who are breastfeeding. It's good for the health of and the and the lungs of the baby. Okay. So whether one is pregnant or not, sweet potatoes are very good for the body. And that takes us to number five. Number five. Yeah, we've got into number five. We are going to number 15. And we've got into number five. Dark leafy greens. Yes, number five is dark leafy greens. So examples are they, they contain calcium, iron, magnesium, vitamin A. Dark leafy greens contain vitamin A, it's vegetable. So an example is spinach. Now, spinach contains folates. Folate and lutein at the same time, lutein. Now, folate helps to lower someone's chances of developing dementia, heart disease, and even colon cancer. So, like I said, as one is aging, you know, the, 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 the one's exposure to these things, that clippy greens, yes. Your, so once, when one is aging, the more you are exposed to developing all these kinds of things. And that is why we need to fortify our system. And dark leafy greens is another way to actually fortify the system, prevent dementia, heart disease, colon. You see some people, you know, adults taking knife, running about the house. They want to shoot this person or they want to shoot that person. They are not mentally okay. Some of them have dementia. So even our adults at home, let's prepare dark, dark leafy greens for them. In that that leafy, leafy greens also helps to protect the eyes, the lungs, the, the lens of the eyes, the retina of the eyes, and may even ward off a few wrinkles from your face. So take spinach. It's rich in vitamin A, good for the eyes. At the same time, you know, could help to, you know, reduce those wrinkles, wrinkles on the face. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay, so that's it for dark leafy greens. And a good example is your spinach. Someone says some of the leafy greens we always hear of and not someone. Yeah, that's actually true. And like kale, kale. Do you really have kale around you? Do you like ambale? Like kale, like this our kale, like this our celery. Yes, celery, kale. You know, these are good leafy greens, spinach, kale, celery. You know, they are very good. 
even asparagus, I already mentioned asparagus in, in the part one. They are very, very good for the body. Except, yes, exactly, shop right, exactly. I was also telling my mom to the other day. <laughs> I was also telling my mom, she was like, hey, this pomegranate, this one, that one. Hey, mommy, you have to go to shop right. <laughs> this pomegranate and kale of a thing, you... If you really want to get pomegranate, you really want to get uh, kale, I think you have to visit ShopRite if they're in Nigeria. Yes, you won't really find them in the local market. That's actually true. That's actually true. So let's go to number six. Number six is beef liver. Beef. Beef liver. Now, it's an excellent source of folate and at the same time, folic acids. Yeah, I don't know why it is not regularly available for everyone to assess. Uh, because because they are so nutritious, they are kind of, I think, uh, maybe they are not well, you know, it's once you have so much in the community, that is what you can find easily in the market, like tomato, onions, you know. But when it comes to this kale, pomegranate, I don't think it's something that a lot of people plant, you understand. So the few that have it on their farm or whether they import it into the country, they just place them in strategic places so that then you understand those that have ego in their pocket can come for it so i think that is why the reason why because they don't everyone doesn't really plant them unlike tomato unlike beans everybody you know kind of a small farm in your backyard you can put beans you can put tomatoes but <laughs> yes ugu is also very good yes in fact it's very good when it, when somebody is getting tired or you run out, you need blood. It's very, very good for the body. Yes, it's very good. Do they serve similar? Exactly. Yes, yes. Ugu is also another dark, dark leafy green. It's very, very good. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Juliet Ambali. So beef liver, beef liver is an excellent source of folate and folic acid. And folic acid helps to prevent some major birth defects. So that is why you see when women are pregnant, doctor will say, come and take folic acid, be taking one per day. It's just to protect the baby from birth defects, such as spinal bifida, you know, the, the, to protect the brain of the baby and the spine of the baby, you understand? So folic is very good for the body. Folic acid is very good for the body. And at the same time, it, it plays a major role in, in the development of a child. It is necessary for cellular development. So, in fact, pregnant women shouldn't joke with folic acid, folate. And it can be found in liver. It can be found in liver. So, that makes liver an excellent one if someone is folate or someone is pregnant. And folate at the same time plays an important role in the production of red blood cells. So if you discover that your blood level is low, they will also take you some, some women take folate after their menstrual cycle, yes. Some women, I know some women that they'll tell you, I take folate after my menstrual cycle because they feel they have lost blood and they need to replenish the blood they have lost. So they just go and buy folate and they take folate. It plays an important role in the production of the red blood cells. Hey! <laughs> Everyday Matters, you are welcome. Happy weekend to you. Everyday Matters, thank you so much for coming around. Thank you for coming around. So we continue from where we stop on, on the foods that every woman should be eating. And I'm already going to number seven now. I've mentioned fatty fish. My number two was flaxseed. My number three was avocado. Avocado? Number four was sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, number five is dark leafy greens, for example, spinach, you know. And my number six was liver, yes, beef liver. Beef liver is also a very good way. A lot of people put it in their in their fried rice. But you know, liver is more than putting in fried rice. You could even prepare your a simple stew. Maybe you want to eat white rice and you just prepare a little stew and you put your, your liver. Instead of the normal beef, you can just use your liver in your fish or you just put your liver in your stew. It, it is rich in folate and folate plays an important role in the production of red blood cells. And we know that the blood has, you know, a lot of components, the white blood cell, the red blood cell, the platelet, 
and the whitish, uh, the, the liquid part of the blood, which is called the blood plasma. And it is the red blood cells that carries the greatest percentage of this, this component. So we need so much red blood cells. And okay. All right. So let's go to number seven. I wanted to digress. <laughs> I wanted to, I was about digressing to to something, but let's let's go. Number seven is lean beef. Lean beef. Okay. So now I'm talking about beef again. Now not liver this time around, but beef itself. Beef is rich in iron, and iron is needed for blood production. It also gives a, bo a boost of zinc and vitamin B. Zinc, vitamin B. It also is also rich in iron, but we shouldn't go overboard. Yes, there is something about beef. You shouldn't eat excess of beef. You understand? Don't go overboard, as there is a chance that regular overeating of red meat might lead to uterine fibroids. Uterine fibroids. So, red meat is not something that somebody should be eating every day, every day, every day. You understand? As as we age. We should be reducing our intake of red meat, except if one is pregnant. Okay, a pregnant woman can be told to be taking red meat because she really needs iron for production of blood. You understand? She needs blood, a baby needs blood. So she might probably be told, take red meat from time to time. But if you are not pregnant, as you are aging, red meat is not something you should be taking every day. It is something that should be taken like one serving per week is enough. One seven. A seven is when you open your palm like this. <laughs> and you put that meat inside your inside your hand like this is one seven. So this is one seven and this is enough for you every week. This is enough for you. I'm talking about beef. I'm not saying chicken or Tokyo. I'm talking about beef. Hey, watching us at the door. Shady Princess. You're welcome. Did I miss anyone? Shady Princess in the beauty. <laughs> Shady Princess. I've never seen her face before. <laughs> Shady Princess, you are welcome. Happy weekend to you and to your family. I just hope one day I'll see her face. Shady Princess is always hiding her face. Okay, welcome in the building, Shady Princess. Happy weekend to you and to your family. And I actually continue from where I stopped in my last episode, talking about foods that women shouldn't take for granted at all. Yeah, should be eating it from time to time. And my number one was fatty fish. Number two was flaxseed. My number three is avocado. Number four is sweet potatoes. It's actually sweet, so. Sweet potatoes, <laughs> sweet potatoes. Number five is dark leafy greens, and I mentioned spinach. And number six is liver, yes, liver, beef liver. Number seven is lean beef. And now I'm going to number eight. So we are going right straight right to 15. So we've got into number eight, uh, Shady Princess. So number eight is lentils, lentils, yes. Now there's there are many varieties of lentils. We have the red one, we have the black one, we have the green one, we have the brown one. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Marvelous TV. We need to see her face. I was even thinking on her monetization. She will show her face. Hey, she didn't show her face. Oh, she didn't show her face even on her, in on her monetization party. <laughs> Okay, lentils. We have the red, we have the brown, we have the green, we have the black. And so women should actually take at least once a week. Once in a week for balanced sugar, for weight man management, for cancer, you know, for prevention of cancer. Lentils is very good for the body, yes. It helps to balance your sugar intake. It helps with weight management. <laughs> Same with me too. <laughs> um, I've been asked if you have been seeing and seeing your face. I've been seeing your face. I even if I close my eyes, I can see your face. But Shady Princess, I've never seen her face before. <laughs> I've been seeing your face, marvelous. Shady Princess, I've never seen her face. Don't worry, you can see me privately on IG. Yes, that's why exclusively, especially for you. <laughs> it's why it's so funny. 
Okay, Shady, uh, Shady Princess, please drop your IG name in the chat. I'm sure a lot of people want to see your face. Okay, drop your IG name in the chat, okay, Shady Princess. <laughs> drop your IG name in the chat. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> she to the topic. Okay, so taking lentils at least once in a week is good for your balanced sugar, for weight management, for cancer preventative compounds. It's also a source of lean protein and is a plant contains a plant based ion. Contains a plant based ion. So lentils is very very good for the body. And let's go to number nine. Number nine is pumpkin. Number nine is pumpkin. Yes. Pumpkin also contains vitamin A in form of beta carotene for excellent vision. Okay. So you are either having issues with your sight or for those of us who have our aged ones at home, mama, papa, uncle, auntie, pumpkin is something you can actually cook for them, you know. Some people even cook pumpkin soup. You can blend it for them. I'm going to actually be uploading a video on that. This side of the thing. I think I've mentioned up to theory now that are good for sight. I'm going to try to upload a video for that. So pumpkin is also excellent for vision. Okay, and let's go to number 10. Yeah, we have six more to go. Let's go to number 10. Number 10 is only oil i'm sure we are all familiar with olive oil hey elder Libby is always talking about olive oil olive oil olive oil is is one of the greatest gifts we have on planet earth yes it's one of the best oils we have hey if you're here to watch that my video those oils you should use the best cooking oils yes please endeavor to watch endeavor to watch that video olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fatty acids and these fatty acids help to lower your bad cholesterol and then boost your good cholesterol for a healthy heart and for the well functioning of your cardiovascular system. Now, let me try to break it down a little. When you are taking oils and then your, the oils you are taking is not melting well, it's just you know, accumulating in the wall of the blood vessels. It is the blood vessels that carries you know, conveys blood, nutrients, minerals around the body. So when you are eating oils that don't melt well, they just clog in the wall of the body. They, they end up, you know, accumulating, increasing your, your, your bad cholesterol. So when this bad cholesterol begins to clog together in the wall of the blood vessels, before you know what is happening, the, the flow of blood will be in that. Don't forget your blood vessels are tubes. They are just in form of tubes. So they need to be free for blood to flow through very well. Hey, uh, we have someone in the building, Flourish with Angela. You're welcome in the building. Happy weekend to you and to your family. Thank you so much for coming around. Please, everyone coming in, don't forget to thumbs up. <laughs> don't forget to thumbs up. And after watching, please don't forget to share it with every woman around you. Yes, don't forget to share with every woman around you. You can even share with the men. They can, they can show their wives. <laughs> they can show their wives. Thank you for coming. Flourish with Angela. Wow, oh, I don't know this much about olive oil. Ah, olive oil is one of the best oils we have on planet Earth. Yes. So, like I said, they contain monounsaturated fatty acids. I've watched oh, yes, yes. So this this oils, most of these oils that we eat, they don't contain unsaturated fatty acids. They contain the saturated ones, and they begin to cluster and then you know boost your cholesterol. They boost the, the bad cholesterol. The blood blood cholesterol will just line the wall of the blood vessels. They will not allow blood to pass very well. And over time, you know the body needs blood every every milli micro milliseconds. If the blood is not well circulated, even the heart itself, <laughs> the heart itself, where the blood is pumping from, the vessels, the arteries of the heart, they also need blood. So when blood is not well circulated, you know, it will result into heart disease. When blood doesn't get to the brain sufficiently, doesn't get to the central nervous, it will result into stroke. And that is why we shouldn't joke with uh, the oils we take. So 
olive oil is very good for the heart, for the vessels, for the blood vessels, generally, generally, okay? So that is my number 10 for today. And we have one, two, three, four, five more to go. We have five more to go before we call it a day. Thank you everyone for coming around and thank you for staying in the charts. Yes. I will start using only for yes, marvelous TV. You need to you need to start using start using wow <laughs> marvelous TV. You need to start using oh yes so if you have not been using the olive oil you need to start the other oils that are actually very good coconut oil canola oil corn oil they are all very very good so please let's endeavor to take olive oil okay let's go to number 11 for today number 11 is eggs yeah, a lot of people say hey as you are aging don't take egg don't take egg <laughs> Okay, egg is not something we should take every day, but we shouldn't over we can't overrule the fact that egg is beneficial for the body. Yes, they are they are rich sources of easily digestible proteins. Yes, the, the proteins in uh, in our egg they are e easily digestible. They also contain healthy fats. They also contain healthy fats and choline and choline is is a, actually a nutrient that has been linked to lower the rate of breast cancer so if you are taking eggs you are reducing your risk of developing breast cancer but i'm not saying you should start taking egg every day as an adult <laughs> yeah someone is saying something but i stopped i stopped buying don't know why wow I like using olive oil, but I stopped buying. Okay, so you need to start buying it again. Shady princess, you need to start buying it again. Every spirit that is every anti olive oil spirit, you need to chase them out. <laughs> anti olive oil spirit, you need to chase them out. Shady princess, and start buying olive oil again. Yeah, there's a spirit behind that. You need to chase out that spirit. <laughs> Okay, uh, Marvelous say I don't use it, but my husband loves it. Oh, you can even use olive oil for your salad dressing, not only for your cooking, even for something as minor as your salad dressing. Olive oil is very good. Maybe expensive. Yeah, yeah. Olive oil is quite expensive. It's quite expensive, but it's good for your health. You can still get your canola oil very canola oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, but make sure that you have olive oil at home and make sure that you use it. I understand it's, it's quite expensive, but when you get used to it, I think that's just it. <laughs> that I use olive oil, I use it for, uh, basically anything I do, I use olive oil. So, hey, we have someone in the building, Wilson Gordon, thank you so much for coming around. Happy weekend to you, sir. Wilson Gordon, Ghana. You are welcome in the building. I also use it for salad dressing. Yeah, that's it. And, oh, the chats are moving so fast now. I've been using olive oil for more than five years. Exactly, exactly. So that is our recipe, Mama. <laughs> that is our recipe, Mama. Yeah, so she has been using it for five years. I use it for salad dressing. Mrs. Lobisa, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming around. Mrs. Lobisa, happy weekend to you. Happy weekend to your family. Yeah, happy weekend to you. We'll sing, God. Uh, yeah, I will visit you. We'll sing. The, the last video I watched, you were you and your friends, about two of your friends. The other one was speaking one language. I don't know like that. So you people had the kind of a collaboration yes i still remember that video never mind i'll visit you we'll sing god on you're welcome mrs lobisa thank you thank you for coming around so okay we don't have minutes okay yeah we'll sing god on is talking to everyone in the chat He's talking to everyone in the chat okay so mrs lobisa we'll see god on you are welcome you're welcome. <laughs> okay, Marvelous TV is talking to Wilson Gordon. So let's go to number 11. Okay, let's go to number 12. Number 12. Okay, let me just quickly paraphrase because of Wilson Gordon and 
Mrs. Lobisa. Yeah, so in my last weekly uh, uploads, I talked about foods that every woman should be eating, and I mentioned about nine. So today I'm going to be completing it with about 15. And I have actually mentioned 11. Yes, I've mentioned fatty fish, for example, sardines. Yes, I've mentioned sardines, mackerel, and baccarat tuna. They are very good for the heart. And I've mentioned flax seed. That was my number two. Olive oil, yes, coconut oil and olive oil. So that was my number two. My number three was avocados, avocados. Number four was sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. And my number five was spinach, yes, dark, dark leafy greens, dark leafy greens. And my number six was beef liver. Number seven was lean beef. Number eight was lentils. And my number nine was pumpkin. Pumpkin is very good for the eyes. Contains vitamin A. <laughs> Contains vitamin A. And my number 10 was olive oil. Olive oil. 11 goes to eggs. And now we are going to number 12. We have, we have four more to go. So I've given you a thumbs up. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Wilson Gordon. Thank you, sir. All right, love the olive oil. Yes, olive oil is good. Coconut oil is also good, but uh, we shouldn't cook. Uh, coconut oil has so much calories, so it's not something you should take excessively so that you don't, you know, accumulate so much calories. But apart from that, coconut oil is also good. Yeah. Number 12 is cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables. They contain high amounts of vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, which helps to stop those free uh, damage of free radicals. They keep your skin looking youthful. Hey, Marvelous TV, <laughs> you're asking me a question. They keep your skin youthful. Imagine you are eating a vegetable and it contains vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, and you are getting all those vitamins free of charge. As you are getting them, you are also getting the health benefits of those vitamins free of charge. So take cruciferous vegetables, kale, broccoli, cauliflower. Yeah, they are good examples of cruciferous vegetables. I know Juliet Ambali will say, mm, cauliflower, <laughs> broccoli, kale. I've got to reach chop right. <laughs> I've got to reach up right before I can get those things. Yeah, I understand, but one day, one day, that country will be better. One day, one day, that country will be better. Are you a nutritionist? No, I'm not a nutritionist. <laughs> um, Mama Lost TV, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm a human anatomist, okay? I'm not a nutritionist. Okay, let's go to number 13. Number 13 is garlic. Yes, garlic, garlic, garlic. If I start to mention the benefits of garlic, we won't live here today. So I'm just going to leave it that way. I'm going to be shooting a video on garlic sometimes later, okay? I'm going to be expanding on garlic sometimes later. So let me just leave it there. Garlic contains anti-cancer compounds. So a lot of us just include garlic in our food, in our smoothies we don't really know the benefits of garlic yeah i'm going to be shooting a video on that sometimes later <laughs> yeah so summer is here and you know we've got a lot to drink a lot of healthy smoothie to drink okay <laughs> marvelous tv we've got a lot of healthy drinks to take and you could just keep on adding garlic to your smoothies you can just keep on add adding garlic it contains anti-cancer compounds very good for the body so I'm going to be expanding on that in a video. And let's go to my second to the last, which is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yes, dark chocolate. So dark chocolate provides a mild energy boost to keep you going stronger and longer. Yes, it can you know boost your energy. Hey, marvelous. <laughs> marvelous TV is asking me a question. Is garlic good for whitening of teeth? Hey, come on, Stevie. Okay, when I shoot that video, I'll tell you whether it is good for. I don't know, people just mix a lot of things, and you see it on social media, and you're like, Hey, hey, this thing, let me go and try it. Hey, at the end of the day, you try it. You see that ah, this thing didn't work for me. <laughs> you see that this thing didn't work for me. Okay, when I shoot that video, I'll tell you whether 
my garlic is good for white skin of teeth, my melon TV. Okay, let's go to dark chocolate. Let's let's <laughs> so dark chocolate could also actually boost your energy levels, keep you going stronger and longer. And just try for try to go for that which contains a good amount, a good uh, composition of cocoa. Yes, like 70% of cocoa, just one ounce a day or two a day is okay for you. So that chocolate contains flavonoids, contain flavonoids in cocoa, and this works to reduce the clogging of the arteries. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, Marvelous TV. When you see those things, you will think, hey, it will work, it will work. But when you try it, you'll be like, ah, well, it worked for this person. How come it didn't work for me? <laughs> there are some other things they will put that you will even know that, hey, this was what they added behind the scene. Oh, this was what they added behind the scene. Oh, okay? <laughs> Mamelon TV. So flavor noise in cocoa work to reduce the clogging of the arteries by stopping the blood platelets from from sticking together and it's good for heart health. You know, I said it the other time, we have the red blood cell, white blood cell, the platelets, the blood plasma. If any of this composition begins to clog together, then there's a problem. If any of this, you know, blood composition begins to stick together, there is a there's a problem. So instead of the blood platelets, if they want to try to stick together at all, Coco is going to say, no, 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 you're not going to do that. <laughs> the flavor noise in cocoa work to reduce, you know, the sticking together of or the clogging of arteries by stopping the blood platelets from from sticking together. Okay, so it's good for the heart. Yes, I shot a video the other time on heart, and I mentioned dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is very good for the heart. I don't eat chocolate, though, but my children loves it so much. Yeah, chocolate is good, especially the dark chocolate. Not this should be should be one. Yes, try to eat chocolate once in a while, but not. I'm not talking about the regular sweet one. I'm talking about dark chocolate. I'm talking about dark chocolate, and that takes us to the last point of the day. And that takes us to the last point of the day, which is black coffee. Black coffee. Hey, someone might be wondering, coffee. Yes, coffee is good for the body. In fact, this part of the world where I live, hey, people drink coffee like water. <laughs> Some people cannot survive in a day without coffee. They must just go out and take coffee. Even when they have the machine, they can prepare it at all. So, no, I prefer to go to that place and take the coffee there. And that was why when the lockdown started, people were just like, wow, this is hell. So we would go out to take coffee. <laughs> Okay, so when you want to take your coffee, try to skip the cream and the sugar. That's why I said black coffee. Yes, thank you, Oz. I'm happy I shared that. Oh, thank you, Marvelous TV. <laughs> thank you, Marvelous TV. Okay, so always skip the cream and the sugar when you want to take your when you want to take your coffee. Just try to skip the cream, skip the sugar, and one or two cups per day is okay. And don't start binging on coffee, okay? Don't start binging on coffee. You take one or two a day. It's okay. I drink coffee every day. Yeah, it's okay if you if you if you take it black. Yes, if you don't add cream to it, you don't add sugar to it. But one or two cups in a day is okay. Marvelous is saying I drink coffee like like water. <laughs> one or two cups in a day is okay. And of course, keep the cream. And try to skip the sugar. Okay. Some people add stevia to it. Stevia is no, no, it's gotten from plants. It's a plant based sugar. So if you want to drink it, you want to add stevia to it, that's fine. You could add little stevia to it, but added sugar and cream, you could try to skip them. So coffees are rich in antioxidants that prevent the damage of the cells. You know, of course, we have cells all over our body. The eyes, the nose, the ears, the mouth, the stomach, everywhere. We have cells, millions of cells all over our body. And you want to prevent the damage. You don't want any cell of your body to get damaged at all. Coffee can help you with that. Yes, because it contains antioxidants. So that is coffee, black 
coffee and with these few points of mine i hope i have been able to convince you and not to confuse you that you can actually eat healthy <laughs> you can actually eat healthy with these few points so that is how we normally end our debate that is how we normally end our debate you know i was i was in a lot of groups when i was in secondary school debate literally and debating i'm there crew choir i am there jet club i am there even if they say drama group i am there <laughs> so when we finish the the debate you say with these few points of mind i think i have been able to convince you and not confuse you so i'm branding off already and i'm saying that with these few points of mind i hope i have been able to convince you and not confuse you that every woman should eat healthy every man should eat healthy even children should eat LD. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming around. Do you have any question for me? Don't forget to like if you are watching this repeat broadcast. <laughs> don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave your comments behind in the comment section. I do welcome comment section in my live streams. And hey, if you find it interesting, if you find it informative, if you find it educative. You can also share with others around you. And if you are yet, to, I think everyone here has subscribed to my channel. So <laughs> if you are watching the repeat broadcast and you have not subscribed to my channel, just kindly press the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell for more episodes. For more episodes. Ah, that's the binging of being a regular partition. <laughs> Thank you for coming around, Juliet Ambali, all the way from Nigeria. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for your time. I, I really love your videos too. I love your videos. You are doing amazingly well. Thank you. Yeah, the last one I watched, I think it was your daddy's birthday. I was just going through your videos. I watched your daddy's 88th birthday. That was a beautiful one. That was a beautiful one. Oh, so thank you everyone, Juliet Ambali. Thank you for coming. Uh, Elias Matters, thank you so so much. Marvelous TV, thank you. Don't worry, I will I will come to your chamber, Marvelous TV. Just give your sister time. <laughs> I will come and you know see those advertisements the way they are dancing in your channel, Marvelous TV. Everyday Matters, thank you so so much for coming around. We'll sing God on, even though you are a man. Thank you for coming around to honor the invitation. You can share it with females around you. Even those foods are healthy for men too. So they're also healthy for men. Mrs. Lobisa G. Thank you so, so much. Flourish with Angela. Shady Princess, I told you to drop your IG name. You didn't drop this. Shady Princess, you didn't drop your IG name. <laughs> Thank you for coming around, Shady Princess. Everyone that came to support in one way or the other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I upload during the week. I upload on Tuesdays, sometimes Tuesdays and Thursdays. If time permits, if time doesn't permit, then I upload on Tuesdays. And I go live Saturdays. Saturdays, 1 p.m. Europe time, just like today, 1 p.m. Europe time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you during the week. See you. See you. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs> I think Everyday Matters has a premiere in five minutes time, so we can go around to support Everyday Matters. Our premiere-ish. Our premiere should be 2 p.m. That should be in five minutes time. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate your coming. More grace. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. No problem. Oh, take your time. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Hey, my kids didn't disturb today. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Next week, I should be like, next week is my daughter's birthday. Okay. See you. See you next week. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> oh, thanks for sharing. Thank you, Miss Angela. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.